So let's see how this fits. I backed up the bolt a little bit here and now we're hitting on a, on the adjustment shim there or spacer. So what we have to do is simply give this thing a little tickle there, which brings me to my favorite tool in the Good Enough Garage stable. Uh, no. Still no. Yep. Not the four, but the four and a half inch death wheel angle grinder. This tool is like three or four tools in one. So what we have here is a wire wheel. Let's use an, a bit newer one. So we can use different attachments. I mean, some of you are very familiar with this tool. Though we can use a wire wheel to clean off rust, it actually works better than sandpaper. Sandpaper will cut into your metal and believe it or not, that wire wheel doesn't scratch the metal, it just takes off the rust. Then, let's see, so then I use these sand discs. Let's see. See, I wasn't lying. We're talking about four and a half. Because some people use four inch, but this one goes to four and a half. Okay, so these flap discs, I think they're called. So we can take some metal off. And I actually use the sandpaper flap discs instead of stone wheels. I started out with stone wheels and they're just good for Hollywood and making movies. But really, they don't, um, they don't cut as well as sand or sand discs. So these are my cutoff wheels. And I'm trying to find one where we can still read how thick it is. I prefer the very thin ones. And I forget what it is as far as thickness. But they're not like eighth of an inch. These are the thick ones. I'm not sure if I could find the really thin ones. But anyway... So here, right there, we have three functions, and a lot of guys will actually buy three of these guys, maybe identical, and uh, just mount a different head or attachment to them, and just hang them off their wall, and then they just grab one, because it is time consuming to uh, swap these attachments, especially as you're trying to work quickly. But um, funds are a bit low, so is uh, wall space here at Good Enough Garage, so we make do with one. But yeah, this is a really versatile tool. Uh, if you're starting out with metal work, get yourself one of these and uh, get a good one. I had a Harbor Freight one and it lasted a while and then uh, it died finally you know, brushes wear out, whatever. And then after that, I bought one and it just broke when I went to put on my first attachment. And I just threw it in the trash. It wasn't even worth for, to me to drive it back and return it or exchange it. So this is a uh, DeWalt and uh, whatever you use name brand like Ryobi, DeWalt, Milwaukee, they're fine. All right, so here we are after a quick tickle. It doesn't take much. Maybe we can do a little bit more, but that's uh, with the sand disc, and then I'm going to switch to the uh, wire wheel and uh, make it shiny. All right, and there we have it. This is just after, uh, I don't know, 15 seconds with this wire wheel, and you can tell, you know, it, the rust is off, and it doesn't scratch the metal. So I was worried at first that this would scratch the metal, but this old timer convinced me to do my entire 68 Mustang with that. Of course, being careful not to generate too much heat, but I took it down to bare metal with a wire wheel and no scratches at all. So there we have it. Oops, 
the other side so I'll just finish this up and we'll try to mount it alright so I have notched this thing and I also undid both nuts here so we'll see if we can fit this on there okay it looks like it fits on the studs here perfect I just dropped one So this is the general idea. Okay, that's the general idea of how this will mount. Now I still need to trim it down here a little bit and maybe on this side to make it sit there flush. Or I can add spacers, but I think I'm just going to um, uh, trim it a little bit. So here just using a sharpie I can give myself a little reference mark. So on taking away metal, I'll just do a little bit at a time. You can always take out more. With metal, you can even add it back in, but why if you can just take your time and do a little at a time? So this is the idea for that bracket. Okay, I think after a few minutes of dicking around, I got it as flush as I'm going to get it. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm still going to put a... Uh, washer behind here or a shim just because that arm bracket isn't exactly flush and straight but that's okay so what I think I'm going to do now is remove this intermediate shaft just because I don't like working with dirty parts and we're gonna media blast it So whenever possible, I just like to put the uh, nut back on. These things here are fine thread and it seems like one is smaller size thread than the other. So I don't want to go searching for proper nuts and bolts later. So that should hold it for now. Oh, maybe I should have, I should blast that thing too. See, this is how it all starts. So these are kind of special bolts. So sure, I'll be blasting those too, and then this bracket, great. So here we go. Uh, I'm new to media blasting, or media blasting is new to me. I got this cabinet on Craigslist for free. It was a major score from a Honda dealership where the mechanic was retiring. And he just let me have it with a ton of buckets of media and I grabbed it and it sat here on the side of the house for a couple years because I, I was in between compressors, air compressors. And I've had some and I've given them away like an idiot and then I had to buy some. So finally I got a decent compressor. So this thing's going to fit actually. So we're going to dump it in there. Um, I got these Hucky Puck lights. And the problem is, I always forget to turn them off, so they stay on for days and drains the battery, so... But, we'll see what happens. And then, this is my Campbell Hausfeld air compressor. It's a V-twin, which is a two-stage, not a two-phase, but a two-stage. 
two stages means it compresses the air once in one cylinder and then and then the other and I don't know if it goes this one that one or that one this one but it, that's what it means two stage and two phase that deals with power coming out of your wall outlet so let's not confuse those but yeah there it is so we'll run this thing it's loud so we'll be back in a minute I almost forgot to share with you the uh, the other part of the uh, three amigos so this is the dust maker and then this is the cyclone maker and that's the noise maker and it looks like it takes three to tango here so this this little vac is great but it's underpowered for the media blasting and the reason we have this double bucket contraption is because it keeps the dust from the media from entering the vacuum cleaner and clogging up the filter so it swirls in here or supposed to swirl in there and then not much ends up here and keeps the filter cleaner so here we go okay let's take a look how that media blasting turned out media blasting actually doesn't leave a shiny finish it leaves this matte silvery looking finish but I love how that turned out now we're probably only going to use literally that much of this piece but I like to clean powder coat and then throw away the pieces I don't use or put them in the shed of stuff for eternity. Anyway, let's take a look at what's remaining here. And now we have this rag joint, okay? It's held on here with a 12 point uh, bolt and I've loosened it. I'm thinking if we can remove this, ah, come on, you're making me look bad. Can it come out? Nope. We may need to use a little bit of gentle persuasion on this one. Let's see what we're in the mood here. Let's just use Mr. Universal here. Give it a gentle fajizzle tap. Uh, those of you, some of you may want to turn away from this. puller oh my goodness. off camera I'm sure our cat can pull this off gentle there it is. So here's the idea. Uh, we want to get the angle from this. And I have some ideas on how to do that. So over here in our laser, on our laser shelf. Oh, great. The, I was grabbing something that I thought was the perfect pipe diameter. And I think this is a, a handlebar. Oh man, it's perfect, but it's a handlebar that I found on the side of the road. So maybe if I was to cut it here, it would give me enough to ingest that other drive shaft. We might do that. Or we may go scrounging for more doodads. This other doodad here is from a wood splitter. hydraulic wood splitter and this is all they give you because they have a sense of humor this is like not even two feet 18 inches and you're supposed to split logs with this so yeah I'm not using it let's see here take this baton and of course it's not gonna go in there I mean we could rig something where we put the handlebar on there and this into that or we can just keep searching. Sorry.
sorry about that. So I have, this is my little cheater bar. This is used, you know, if you don't have enough torque on your wrench as you're trying to tighten it to uh, as hard as you can plus quarter turn. So this is kind of loose. I mean, it, it gives you a general idea, but not, not the type of results we would expect here at um, Good Enough Garage. Let's see though. Let's see what this offers us as far as perspective. Look e there. See how my brain works? See in the twisted ways that my brain works? Now it's this is lower than we want it. We want to move it up more to close this gap. I think the steering column protrudes maybe three inches, maybe less out of here. But we have universal joints. There's gonna be a universal joint here. There's probably gonna be some sort of universal joint here. So we don't have to be perfect, but I don't want this Zorro formation on here either. So it'd be nice if I could get this dialed in here with a larger pipe so where I can have this here to give me an idea how I want it. Um, of course, there's a big risk in mocking this up without the uh, inner fender on. That's why it's laying there. That's good enough. It's three feet away. It's sending me vibes that it's on. And uh, it's probably a good idea to put the brake booster on to make sure there's no interference with that. I doubt it that it being here would interfere with a brake booster. But you never know. So... I may pause here and hopefully next time you see me, I'll have some stuff mounted up and we'll keep going.